Welcome everyone, so I've been calculating the XP gains from different activities and today I'm going to be sharing the methods that I've been using to gain lots of XP in order to quickly level up guns and armour. I'm also going to be breaking down the XP requirements for legendary and exotic gear. First and foremost, bounties. Completing bounties every day is probably one of the best ways to level up your gear because they give a ton of XP and if you do them every day you'll level up in no time. Depending on what the bounties are and how fast you can get them done, then Vanguard bounties should only take about an hour or so to complete them all. If there are any bounties you want some advice on and maybe some guides on how to get them done fast, then let me know and I may make some guides if there's enough demand. When you go to turn in a bounty, make sure you have the gear you want to level up equipped because the XP only applies to the gear you are currently using. Another tip for gaining XP, complete the weekly nightfall strike, I cannot stress this enough. This helps out massively because the reward for completing the nightfall strike is radiant light, which is a bonus that will increase all XP gains by 25% until the next weekly reset, and this bonus applies to everything. So let's break down the XP gains from different activities. Normally a bounty that awards 2500 XP and 50 reputation is boosted to 3125 XP and 62 reputation. A bounty that awards 3750 XP and 75 rep is boosted to 4687 XP and 93 rep. And a bounty that awards 5000 XP and 100 reputation is boosted to 6150 XP and 125 reputation. So, for example, if I turn in a Vanguard bounty with the Nightfall boost, I will get 125 reputation towards my Vanguard rank instead of 100. Same applies to Crucible bounties and any other special event bounties such as the Iron Banner or the Queen's Wrath. In the Crucible, you get 25 Crucible reputation and 1500 XP for winning a match. With the Nightfall boost, you'll get 31 reputation and 1800 XP. Each day there is also an XP bonus for playing one match in a certain Crucible game mode. It doesn't help out much, but it's also an option if you just want some quick XP. For Strike Playlist Reputation, Vanguard Eagle is boosted from 10 Reputation to 12, Vanguard Viper is boosted from 12 Reputation to 15, Vanguard Wolf is boosted from 14 Reputation to 17, and Vanguard Tiger is boosted from 25 Reputation to 31. For the daily story mission, completing on level 24 will give 6000 XP, with the boost that's 7500 XP, and completing on level 28 will give 7500 XP, with the boost that's 9375 XP. Unfortunately, XP from completing the daily story mission does not go towards weapons and armour, it only goes towards your subclass, so if you have fully upgraded both of your subclasses then the XP is useless. The only reason to do the daily story missions would be for the Ascendant Materials. The Nightfall boost even applies to the Cryptarch's reputation. Decoherent Engrams give 150 Cryptarch rep, with the boost that's 187. Legendary Engrams give 300 rep, with the boost that's 375. And Exotic Engrams give 500 rep, with the boost that's 625. This is why it's important to do the Weekly Nightfall Strike, aside from the possibility of being rewarded a legendary or exotic item. It is literally the first thing I do every week after the weekly reset, and I highly recommend doing it each week as it can make a big difference. If you have any alternate characters, then you can transfer your gear and run the Nightfall Strike again, and you can even do the daily bounties again and upgrade your gear even faster. Now those calculations are just with the Nightfall boost, Another good method of gaining XP is to use weapon telemetries. Telemetries are a consumable that gives a 25% increase in XP gains for weapons and lasts for 30 minutes. There's a specific telemetry for each type of weapon. Auto rifles, scout rifles, pulse rifles, hand cannons, shotguns, sniper rifles, fusion rifles, rocket launchers and heavy machine guns. Telemetries are available from Zio but he only sells three types each week, so not every type of telemetry will always be in stock. Now the reason telemetries are so good and so useful is because the 25% increase stacks on top of the nightfall boost, meaning that all XP gains for weapons can be increased by 50% with both boosts active. So let's break it down once again with both the telemetry and nightfall boosts applied. 
Note that telemetries only affect weapon XP, not armour or reputation. So, bounties that award 2500 XP are boosted to 3750 XP. Bounties that award 3750 XP are boosted to 5625 XP. And bounties that award 5000 XP are boosted to 7500 XP. For the Crucible, win XP is boosted from 1500 XP to 2250 XP. So if you have some spare coins lying around, I would definitely consider purchasing some telemetries from Zio. One strange coin will get you 5 telemetries and each one lasts for 30 minutes. So that's 2 hours and 30 minutes of 25% more weapon XP for one strange coin. You do also get bonus XP from killing mobs, but the amount is so minuscule, even with both boosts active, that it's hardly noticeable. Only use telemetries when turning in bounties, and make sure you have the weapons that you want to upgrade equipped when you turn them in. As you may or may not know, Grimoire cards actually give a bonus for unlocking them. After getting 5000 kills with a certain weapon type, you will unlock rank 2 in the Grimoire cart, which will give you a small boost in XP gains for that weapon type. For example, once I get 5000 kills with scout rifles, I will gain an XP boost for all scout rifles. It doesn't make a noticeable difference either, but it's just another way of gaining slightly more XP. Now moving on, I've also broken down the XP requirements, so you guys can see how much XP you'll need for each upgrade for legendary and exotic gear. Now the way it works is, the amount of XP required is based on the weapon type and rarity. So exotic primaries will all require the same amount of XP, whereas exotic specials will require a different amount. Upgrades always unlock in the same order. I've labelled the upgrades so that they're easier to identify, and I've blanked out all of the actual names of the talents except for damage upgrades, because the upgrades are not all the same for every weapon. Starting off for exotic primary weapons, upgrade A is unlocked by default, upgrade D is the first, which is also the first special perk, and requires 15,000 XP to unlock. After unlocking the first upgrade, you'll begin working on upgrades B and E. B requires 30,000 XP. After unlocking upgrade B, you'll start unlocking upgrade C, which requires 30,000 XP. Upgrade E is unlocked at the same time as C, so essentially B plus C equals E. Upgrade F requires 30,000 XP to unlock, and will open up G and I. Upgrade G requires 30,000 XP, and will unlock at the same time as I. Upgrades H and J will open up at the same time, but you'll first need to unlock H. Unlocking H will count towards the first half of J. Then you'll need to get another 30,000 XP on top of that to finish unlocking the second half of J. The final three damage upgrades each require 30,000 XP and will unlock one after the other. In total, primary exotics require 285,000 XP to fully upgrade. Exotic special and heavy weapons require the same amount of XP per upgrade. Upgrade A is unlocked by default. Upgrade D is the first, which is also the first special perk, and requires 12,500 XP to unlock. After unlocking the first upgrade, you'll begin working on upgrades B and E. B requires 25,000 XP. After unlocking upgrade B, you'll start unlocking upgrade C, which requires 25,000 XP. Upgrade E is unlocked at the same time as C. Upgrade F requires 25,000 XP to unlock, and will open up G and I. Upgrade G requires 25,000 XP, and will unlock at the same time as I. Upgrades H and J will open up at the same time, but you will first need to unlock H. Unlocking H will count towards the first half of J, then you'll need to get another 25,000 XP on top of that to finish unlocking the second half of J. The final three damage upgrades each require 25,000 XP, and will unlock one after the other. In total, special and heavy exotics require 237,500 XP to fully upgrade. XP requirements for legendary weapons work in the same way, except they need much less total XP than exotics. For legendary primary weapons, the order in which upgrades are unlocked is the exact same, so I don't have to explain it again. The only thing that has changed is the XP requirements for the upgrades. In total, primary legendaries require 189,000 XP to fully upgrade. For legendary special and heavy weapons, the total is 142,500 XP to fully upgrade. Moving on to the breakdown for armor, 
All exotic armour requires the same amount of XP. A. 11,250 XP B. 23,750 XP C, D and E 25,000 XP each and F and G 27,500 XP each. In total, exotic armour requires 165,000 XP to fully upgrade. Legendary helmets, gauntlets and chest pieces all require the same amount of XP. A. 7,650 XP B. 16,150 XP C and D 17,000 XP each E. 18,700 XP and F and G 17,000 XP each. In total, legendary helmets, gauntlets and chest pieces each require 110,500 XP to fully upgrade. Raid helmets and gauntlets however require 17,000 more XP to max out because they have an additional upgrade specifically for the Vault of Glass. That means that raid helmets and gauntlets require 127,500 XP to max out. Finally for legendary boots, they actually have one less upgrade, so they need 17,000 less XP to fully upgrade. In total, that's 93,500 XP to fully upgrade boots. So, how many bounties would you need to complete to fully upgrade a full set of gear or a weapon? This table I put together shows how many bounties you would need to complete if every bounty you turned in was a 5,000 XP bounty. So with no boosts, exotic primaries would require 57, exotic special or heavy weapons would need 48, exotic armor 33, legendary primaries 38, legendary special or heavies 29, legendary helmets, chests and gauntlets 23, legendary boots 19, and raid helms and gauntlets 26. With the nightfall boost, exotic primaries would need 47, exotic special or heavies 39, Exotic Armor 27, Legendary Primaries 31, Legendary Special or Heavies 24, Legendary Helmets, Chest and Gauntlets 18, Legendary Boots 16, and Raid Helms and Gauntlets 21. Finally, with the Nightfall and Telemetry boosts applied, Exotic Primaries would need 38, Exotic Special or Heavies 32, Legendary Primaries 26, and Legendary Specials or Heavies 19. I mentioned this earlier in the video, but just as a reminder, telemetries only affect weapon XP, which is why I didn't do the calculations for the armour. So those are the breakdowns, I really hope this helps you out. Now if you want, I'll put a link in the description to the images of the XP requirement breakdowns I made for weapons and armour, and if you want, you can go ahead and save those images, so that you can keep them handy if you ever need to quickly check how much XP you'll need for a piece of gear. The link will take you to an album containing images for both legendary and exotic gear. Now one thing to keep in mind is that next month on December 9th, the first expansion pack of the Dark Below is going to be released and with it comes two new light levels, raising the cap from 30 to 32. Now with these two new light levels, there's been some speculation that there'll be some new upgrade materials that allow you to upgrade your current exotic gear even further to bring it on par with the Dark Below raid gear and give you more ways to reach level 32. Now if this turns out to be true and the current XP requirements are affected in any way, I'll release an updated video with corrections according to the new upgrades. Speaking of the Dark Below, I'll be covering that once it's out, so stay tuned to my channel for that. Thank you for watching everyone, your feedback is greatly appreciated, and I'll talk to you next time.